Hey guys, a very good morning and welcome to a new daily market outlook for the 1st of June 2021. In today's market outlook, as per usual, we're going to be discussing the DXY alongside the major dollar pairs. So without further ado, let's dive straight in. So to begin with, as per usual, the DXY. So the DXY has currently been moving very bearish as we can see since yesterday we had some NFP news which has been pushing the markets back down towards the lows. So as we can see we broke out of that descending trend line, made some nice closes above. However, one thing that we have to look at is the nature of price and the nature of how we broke the trend line. Because in theory there are two ways in which you can break a trend line. You can break a trend line either impulsively or correctively and what you potentially want to see is that when you expect the market to move further in towards the highs that you preferably would like to see the market break a trend line impulsively so in this specific situation we can see that we broke the trend line in a very corrective manner and therefore i am not fully convinced that we still will move back towards the upside um, i was bullish if support over here were to hold however we broke through that support level and we just started crashing back down towards the downside. Therefore, I am a little bit cautious at the moment to be looking for any longs because the only area of potential support which we still have is the area and the level where we currently are at. So as we can see, we're currently situated at the 786 Fib. We touched the 786 Fib to the absolute pip. Um, so alongside that area of support, we could start seeing some more upside. However, we're very dependent on the next four hour close. Because if the next four hour close were to close below this area of support, we will most likely see 89,530, which is a potential high time frame reversal area. If we still see a bullish four hour close, I wouldn't be surprised if we start moving back in towards the highs. So yeah, that is it for the DXY. One thing that we have to take into consideration is that the market this week isn't looking that great. Price is looking very choppy, so what I would like to do in these kind of situations is really wait for price to evolve itself and to make a clear price pattern, which we can read and then capitalize on. So yep, that was a DXY, let's head over to Aussie Dollar. And Aussie Dollar has been rejecting this potential reversal area. As you guys can see, we faked out on the swing high over here at around 0 0.77577. So at the moment, Aussie dollar not looking that interesting, looking very choppy to be honest. Um, if we just quickly go down at the lower time frame and have a look what is going on over there, we can currently see that we're retesting this area of previous resistance, which is now acting as potential support. So if we were to close as a pin bar over here, what you'll then potentially have is a long position over here to trade it back up in towards the highs at least. This is how most people would look at taking a long position. I personally not interested in taking any longs until we break this high or even this high up above over here. Because once we break those highs, the DXY will most likely have also switched into a bearish trend. So yeah, that is Aussie dollar for me. I'm not looking at any positions at the moment. Markets are just a little bit too choppy for me personally. One more thing that I would like to say is that if you look at the current price action, draw in a quick fib, you can see that we are rejecting the 618 to absolute perfection. So therefore, this could be an indication that we are going to move back towards the downside alongside the fact that we are faking out on that swing high and we have an area of obvious resistance where we're currently at. So yep, let's head over to Euro dollar. And Euro dollar, not that interesting to be honest. Just like the DXY, I'm just waiting for some good movements within the market to occur. As we can see, we quickly draw in this fib. We just missed the 786. But what we do have is this overall massive ascending wedge, which we broke out of towards the downside. We created a new lower low and are currently retesting previous support and resistance up above over here. So I wouldn't be surprised if we start moving towards the downside, but one thing that we have to take into consideration is that we are very dependent on what the DXY is going to be doing next. So if I just quickly transform my chart, we can also look at the specific situation in a bullish manner, because what you could say 
is that we are breaking above this area of previous resistance, which could now act as support from where we could start moving back in towards the highs. So this up here at around 1.22452 is my potential reversal area. So once we tap into this zone, I wouldn't be surprised if we start crashing back down once again. So yeah, as you guys might hear, I am kind of double biased, not really. I don't really have an obvious bias, let me put it like that, mainly due to the fact that we have been seeing very strong bullish momentum during this week. Therefore, what I would like to do is just sit back, relax, kind of let the markets do its thing and wait for better opportunities to come. Had a great week last week with Kiwi dollar, Aussie dollar and pound dollar. So therefore, I'm going to just keep it on the low with euro dollar at the moment, because as you guys know, it got stopped out at break even on this position. Just missed my stop loss on my upper position. However, I am convinced that that stop loss is going to get hit at break even. So yeah, took some profits, but not the best of positions anymore. So yeah, let's head over to pound dollar. And pound dollar beautiful in towards the highs, as we can see, saw a beautiful fake out on this second high of the ascending channel. So currently wouldn't be surprised if we do start seeing some more downside on pound dollar. Um, yeah, pound dollar as well, not that clear to be honest. Yeah, all the dollar pairs currently not really that clear. Not really showing you what I would like to see. Therefore, I'm just going to wait for further development until I take any trades during this week. Um, because from here, we could see more downside on pound dollar back in towards the lows for the third trend line touch or even back in towards this reversal area before going long. However, yeah, we're just going to have to wait and see and wait for some cleaner price action. Because as we can see, the overall price action on pound dollar is quite choppy at the moment. What we want to see are big impulsive moves and clear price patterns. So if we just quickly draw in this trend line, what you'll then see is that we kind of have this ascending channel over here with a fake out on the second high of the overall greater ascending channel. So therefore, I wouldn't be surprised if we do start tanking further towards the downside. But yeah, we could still come higher even in towards the highs for that third trend line touch of both of the ascending channels before we even start thinking about a move towards the downside. So yeah, therefore, just going to be waiting for more confirmation and not going to engage in the markets at the moment. So with pound dollar discussed, let's head over to our last pair, which is Kiwi dollar. And Kiwi dollar currently situated at my reversal area. Let me just quickly draw in a fib. What you can then see is that we are situated at the 618, just missed the 786. Um, so we're currently stalling at this reversal area. As we can see, we are reacting to it. So wouldn't be surprised if we do start tanking back towards the downside. Uh, but yeah, Kiwi dollar, same as on pound dollar, euro dollar and Aussie dollar. It is just not that clear at the moment. So therefore, I would just like to wait for further development. What we could potentially have is this ascending channel with our one and our two, and then a potential third touch aligning with the third touch of this ascending channel and the greater overall ascending channel before then moving back towards the downside. So yeah, let's see if that forms. That could form, doesn't have to form because as you guys know, we already matured on the overall greater ascending channel. So therefore we could just start tanking back down from here because we still have respected this high over here. So we're currently still situated in a downtrend on the four hour. So yeah guys, that was all for today. Thank you all for watching and tuning in. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I can't wait to see you all in today's crypto market outlook. Thanks, guys.